they were working on grandma's chair. And so what you have to do first is you have to set the whole thing up. And this requires us to kind of go back and forth a little bit here with our video and our um, looking at our V5. So I'm going to start by setting everything up. So I need to add a device. I have a motor, just the one, and I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to call it chair motor or chair mot. And I'm going to hit done. So now I have a motor. So now you see all my motion blocks show up. Well, I have this set up so that grandma's chair has a bump switch on it. And so that's going to be called the chair switch. It's a three wire bumper switch. And I'm going to put it over here in A and we're going to call it chair bump. And done. Now, when grandma hits the chair bump, we want the motor to run and move her chair one way or the other. Well, the way we tell where it currently is, is that we have limit switches, one at the bottom and one at the top. And if the one at the bottom is pressed, I want the chair to go to the top. And if the one at the top is pressed, I want to go to the bottom. So I need to add those devices three wire devices here. So I'm going to go with limit switch and I'm actually going to put it in B and B is going to be my top limit. And C go will be my bottom limit. And I do recommend that you actually name them. It will help you in the long run. So here's the deal. I just want to go ahead and program this so that it does the basics. So for the first part, um, when started, I don't need because I don't want to start anything funky. Well, actually, I suppose I could leave when started there and set the velocity of my motor. So right now, I think it's 50% automatically. I'm going to set it to 100% because I'm using a um, lead screw, which means it's super slow to begin with. So I'm now going to come over here to events and I'm looking for when the chair bump is pressed because grandma has now gotten on the chair and she's pressed the button. If, and let me see if I can find my if, there it is. If that bottom switch is is pressed at the same time she presses the button, it should go to the top. So I'm going to come here, and if the, it says top limit, but I'm going to change it to bottom limit. So if the bottom limit, so now she presses the chair bump, if the bottom limit is also pressed, then I want it to go forward until, which I think is a control, until the top limit gets pressed. And when the top limit gets pressed, it should stop. So I have to go back down here until the top limit signals that it has been pressed and then we're gonna stop the motor. Okay, so let's go through it again. Grandma gets on the chair. She presses the chair bump switch. The bottom limit is currently pressed. It's now gonna run forward until the top limit is pressed and then it's going to stop the motor. I'm going to duplicate this and stick it down here, not inside the other if, but as an alternate. So then we can do the opposite too. So she gets on at the top of the stairs. So that means the top limit is pressed. We're going to run the, the chair motor in reverse until the bottom limit is pressed. And then we're going to start the motor or stop the motor. So let's go ahead and test this and see if it works. So as you can see, this is my setup and the top switch is pressed right here. So I should be able to press this and have it run and it's not working. So let's go back and look at our code because I think maybe we missed something small. Our code, and as you can see, it says when the chair bump is pressed, if the bottom limit is pressed, go up. If the top limit is pressed, go down. But the problem is, is it can't move to this if because that one's up there. So I think what we really want here is an if then else. So I'm going to put this if inside this else so it becomes an else if. So that that way it's looking for two things and not just one. 
So let's try that and see what happens. So let's download it. And then we'll go ahead and run it. OK, so as you can see, here's my uh, thing, my chair here. So I'm going to press that top. And then when I press the chair, it should go down until this bottom one gets pressed, which it did now. Should go up until the top one gets pressed. Which it did. So now this works exactly as we wrote it. And we can move on to now getting these top calls and bottom calls to work. And we need to get our top call and our bottom call to work. So I'm going to kind of shuffle around over here. You can probably hear me. So I'm looking at my top call is plugged into port F. So I'm going to go over here to my little display devices thing here. And I'm going to add a three wire and I need a bumper switch and it's at F and I'm going to call it top call. So this is going to call the uh, chair to the top of the run. Then I need one for the bottom as well. And I'm just checking. I have it plugged into E it looks like. So I'm going to add another one here. Three wire, bumper, E. This is the bottom call. There we go. And now that I have those added, I can now program them. So here's the deal. We use just a simple uh, chair bump here to get this working. So I'm going to start by trying a, let's see. So they have bump switch here. So let's see. There it is, top call. So when I run the top call, so that means it would run forward. So I'm going to come here. I'm just looking at what I already have, and I'm essentially going to duplicate this. Actually, you know what? I could just duplicate that. So it should uh, spin the chair motor forward until the top limit is pressed and then stop. And now I'm also going to build the bottom call as well. So there's my bottom call, and that would duplicate this right there. So now we should be able to download this. There it goes. Run it and see if now I can add that functionality to get this whole thing to work correctly. OK, so here we go. We're going to try the top and bottom calls. So here's my top call. And notice it runs. And it should, once again, turn off when that limit switch is clicked. Let's see if that works. It does. So now let's pull it to the bottom. And again, here's my limit switch that I'm using as a sensor. And there it goes. Now this will go up and down based on the chair bump. And it will go up and down based on the call up and the call down. So it will work in all the three major ways that I needed it to work. So there you go, and that's some basic coding with V5 for a pretty simple uh, like chair elevator.